Well, Memorial Hall was a special building to our community. Uh, it was completed in 1916 and it served as a venue uh, for performances and uh, just a gathering place for our community. Unfortunately, uh, buildings sometimes get to the point where they're past their useful life and Memorial Hall reached that point and it had to be demolished. Um, as we continue to move forward with our community and, and try to create economic development opportunities, sometimes we have to lose some of the historical assets and features of our community. And Memorial Hall was one of those. But on the fortunate side, we were able to save several key elements of the building. One such example of the reuse of the elements of Memorial Hall was the Veterans Bridge Project, which is the bridge that crosses Buck Creek along Fountain Avenue. We were able to reutilize the pillars that stood in front of Memorial Hall. The iconic pillars were able to be reutilized on the bridge and placed in key points. I'm Pam Bennett with Ohio State University Extension and close your eyes and picture this. Remember the old Memorial Hall? Well, Snyder Park Gardens and Arboretum, down at the old former golf course, is right now being developed. And as part of those plans, the Master Gardeners and Ohio State University want to take all of these old pieces from Memorial Hall and try to incorporate them into the gardens. So this piece that I'm sitting in right here, imagine this is a bench. What a great bench this would make, or a seating area in the garden somewhere. In addition, one of the things we'd really like to do is take all these different pieces, such as the one you see right here, that's got the little piece that looks like a flower, stand it up and put it at the edge of each of our gardens, some kind of a memorial hall type memento, so to speak. In addition, think about hiding some of these pieces throughout the entire Snyder Park Gardens and Arboretum, including the natural area, the passive area, Hollandia's Children's Garden or the maze, or the Master Gardener's area. Think about hiding little pieces and then sending your family on a treasure hunt to find all these little pieces that used to be part of Memorial Hall. There are, is just unlimited options for what we can do with salvaging all these pieces from Memorial Hall and utilizing them in Snyder Park Gardens and Arboretum. The Eagle, which sits on top of the NTPRD chiller, originally sat on top of Memorial Hall, welcoming veterans and users and the public to that facility. The Eagle overlooks the former Memorial Hall site, paying tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and also those who have served our country. Um, sitting below the Eagle, we have placed the emblems of the different branches from the military uh, to symbolize the importance of all the sacrifices that have been made by all of the different divisions within uh, our armed forces. Well, when Memorial Hall was um, taken down in Springfield, many, many pieces from the actual site were saved so that they could be used in other areas of our community. Some of what we have here are the sandstone slabs that were used at Memorial Hall, and we thought what better way to um, you use pieces of those but to put them in our nature amphitheater so that children of all ages and visitors to the park would be able to sit on them and um, you know contemplate things in the world and hopefully remember the veterans when they were here learning and um, how important our veterans are to our community heritage. Hi I'm John Paulson we are standing in multi-purpose room 2 of our newly renovated United Senior Services building located at 125 West Main Street. A couple of things I want to point out in this room we're really excited about. We were able to salvage a number of elements from the old Memorial Hall building that had been saved and incorporate them into our new building, our new renovation. So we're looking at the old ticket booth that was located in Memorial Hall and what's really interesting about it is it's the original ticket booth but it wasn't large enough to fill this whole cavity, so our construction team completed other elements to match and place those beside it. We've also surrounded it with marble, marble baseboard that came out of Memorial Hall. In the ceiling, we have the old stained glass panels that we've mounted. We've put the new light fixtures in, but we've replicated the original ones were, that were there to really give us that uh, original look and feel that was in Memorial Hall. The doors that enter the room on both sides have the original transoms, the original doors, the original hardware as well. A lot of our membership comments on those. A lot of our membership graduated high school in Memorial Hall. They remember walking through those doors. 
in getting this material from the dusty basement of the historical center to this condition and located here took hundreds of hours. We had a team of uh, painters, wood restorers, probably five or six guys that worked on all of the various elements. We did that in this building. We brought the raw materials over here in their dusty, dirty state, and then we set up a work area so that they could get acclimated to the temperature and the humidity in the space. And over a period of weeks, they cleaned and polished and restored the wood. We didn't strip it. We didn't want to take away the original patina, but we did clean it and just polish it. So all of that hard work made it look like brand new, like the day it was last used. A couple of more uses of Memorial Hall pieces. This is our donor wall, and what it is are pieces of old restroom marble partitions that we had cut down, mounted to the wall. Of course, honoring Betty Pitzer, our beloved founder, center uh, position, and then blocks that uh, we will soon be recognizing those who have given so much to United Senior Services. Uh, those uh, signs are being prepared now to, to be mounted there. But we thought another great use of Memorial Hall pieces. Another one that I wanted to point out is we use marble around the fireplace. We had a donor that made our fireplace possible and we surrounded that with more marble baseboard that we took out of Memorial Hall.